Welcome back to Real Talk with Brian and Dan on 1150 AM KKNW. I'm Brian. And I'm Dan. Our next guest is Kathleen Hunter, the founder and executive director of Northwest Canine Coalition. Kathleen has been helping shelter dogs get adopted since 2013 when she began volunteering at Seattle Humane. She was the first volunteer to take a shelter dog through the six-week reactive rover class offered at Seattle Humane. That experience facilitated the dog Coco with being adopted at age 12 years and living a uh, very full life for another three years. Coco was the first of many project dogs Kathleen has worked with. Often the dogs were right out of bite quarantine, uh-oh. but that only yeah oh but that only helped uh, ca- uh, <laughs> drive Kathleen's desire to help the dogs less fortunate to have the same opportunities to be adopted. Uh, and with a plan in place and a hand-picked team of fellow volunteers, every dog Kathleen has had the pleasure of working with has been adopted into their forever homes, sometimes through an independent rescue. In addition to her natural ability to work with reactive and under-socialized dogs, Kathleen is a natural in front of the camera. She, she was the face of Seattle Humane from 2013 until she formed Northwest Canine Coalition. Sorry, Coalition. There we go. <laughs> Um, she first began doing the, the Pet of the Month segments for King 5, which then led to Pet of the Week segments on Como 4 and Q13 and special event segments on Cairo 7 and Cairo Radio. In addition, Kathleen is one of the founding creators of Seattle Humane's Sweetheart Sunday segments posted on their social media platforms. In Kathleen's words, being able to combine my education and experience in television and live theater with helping the less fortunate dogs of the Northwest find homes, well, that's a match made in heaven for me. By forming NWCC, Kathleen, with the help of the public in the form of donations and sponsorships, can help even more dogs from even more diverse canine communities be adopted. Welcome to the show, Kathleen. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So what do you do when you're not helping dogs? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Nothing. (laughs) Nothing? (laughs) Nothing. There is something else. Um, I like to travel with my husband. And hang out with my dogs. We have three large dogs of our own. And my new love is golf. Golf. Yeah. Excellent. Hmm. Tell me about your dogs. We have a Rhodesian Ridgeback. She's almost 10. She's our first dog um, together, my husband and I, but she's my first dog. Hmm. I grew up afraid of dogs. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And so when we got Savo, she turned my world upside down for the better hmm. of all canines out there. And then uh, shortly after that, we rescued Abby. She's a Great Dane English Pointer mix. She's. Nice. Um, She's my barnacle dog, my barnacle pup. She like follows, always on your heel. Always yeah. follows me. She is right next to me 99% of the time if I'm home. Hmm. And well. then Sasha. She's our foster failure. She's an Alaskan Husky. Oh, hmm. beautiful dogs. Yeah. Beautiful dogs. Yeah, I've got one that's part um, part Dane, too, and he is he's literally under my feet at all times. Like, yeah. doesn't have any spatial awareness. He knows he just needs to be right there. Right, and they forget that they have this tail that can clear a coffee <laughs> table. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. has happened. Yeah, based on the appearance of our dog, we think there's some Rhodesian ridge back in there. You but, have to uh, really be on your game when you have yep. They're smart. They're very smart. They're smart, and, they'll, and they know when you're not consistent with your cues. Yep. So it's like, yeah, when you figure it out, I'll do what you <laughs> ask me to do. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we always ask our guests uh, to share a fond memory of the home you grew up in. So where'd you grow up? I grew up in multiple places, primarily Southern California and in Arizona. Okay. Um, the place, the memory I've chosen is living in Arizona. We lived in on 10 acres out in the country. Mm. I was about eight, and my fondest memory out there was every morning during the summer is riding my bike with my garden tools out to the front portion of our property and work in my garden Wow! until lunchtime. And then I'd ride back, have lunch, ride back in the afternoon, you know, water, weed. Mm. That's how I spent yeah. my summer. That was oh. what you did for fun? That was my fun. <laughs> <laughs> my mom made us go out and weed the strawberry bushes. It was the worst. I grew up with three brothers, so I kind of had to fend for you myself. You needed that time. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Kathleen, what is your company and what do you do? It's called Northwest Canine Coalition. And what we do is we partner with the smaller, lesser known shelters and rescues in the Northwest. And we provide a media, media segments for their adoptable dogs. Um, so, for example, we're on King 5 every Friday morning, Canine Rescue of the Week, and then the first Saturday of the month also on King 5, Spotlight on Dogs. And then for those dogs who can't go into this television studio because it's not for everybody and it's not for every dog, right. then we'll produce original videos of those dogs in an environment that's, that's you know, compatible to them. So we'll go to wherever the dog is, we'll travel to them, we'll go into the foster home, we'll go to their yard, we'll take them shopping, I, you know, we'll take them on a car ride, whatever it is that dog likes to do and is really going to show them off so then people can really see 
maybe that dog is going to fit in our home. How many and, how many different shelters or foster? How many do you I, uh, work with? I think we're up to about fourteen right now. We just added yeah. two more within the past week, so we're very excited about that. One is in Yakima, and one is in Winlock, Southern hmm. Southern uh, Washington. So we're starting to branch out already. Are there certain um, requirements that these places have to have for you guys to want to work with them, or they need to be small? Independent. Okay. Um, they're primarily foster based, except for our, the small shelters. They have a, a small brick and mortar, um, but just the small ones, pe- the ones that people don't really know if they exist, that they exist. I didn't know that some of them existed, and they reached out to me. They saw our media segments and thought, "Hey, we have these dogs. Can you help us?" Um, so yeah, so you have this voice for the dogs, basically, yeah, right? That's yeah, we do. shining the light, right? Yeah. Yep. And the rescue shelters that you've worked with, do they pay you for these opportunities? No, we don't charge anything for the shelters or the rescues for anything that we're doing for them. Okay, so, so it's just free publicity yes. for them. Yeah. I, we, yeah. I saw a uh, story this week on uh, one of my news feeds about a pizza place that's putting photos of, you, you saw that, saw it's pretty that. cute, I yeah. like that. It's clever. Yeah. Well, clever. you need to finish what you're saying. Oh, photos <laughs> of rescue dogs on the pizza boxes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, I thought, yeah. yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. Better than milk cartons, I suppose. Maybe we should so. put it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Put it on our so, open house signs. We, oh, we can yeah. put that on the top. Let's talk. We should have our dog of the week. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Well, well great, great idea. So how can people learn more about uh, Northwest Canine Coalition? Okay, well, we have our website. It's nwk9coalition.org. Um, that's where you can go and look for dogs who are available for adoption. You can watch our videos, our King 5 segments. We post everything on our website. Um you can also go to the page that has all of our rescues and shelters listed. You can click on their logo, and it takes you directly to their website, and you can shop for their available dogs. So it's kind of a one-stop shop, too, if you're in the market for a new dog. Um, also, a lot of these rescues need fosters, too. So if you're interested in doing something along those lines, maybe you can't adopt, this is a great place to go to to you know, find an organization that's near you, maybe, and start fostering for them. You can also watch our segments, follow us on social media, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, hmm. Like and share us and helps us, helps get the word out that we exist and then helps get the word out for the dogs that we're shining light on. So how do you operate then? If they're not paying you, how do you operate? <laughs> right. Ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, where's the money coming so from? So when you go to our website <clears throat> and you click on that donate button, that, oh. is, that helps. That's one way. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's strictly donations and sponsorships is how we operate, is how we stay <laughs> Yeah, running. and how are the funds used? So primarily right now we're looking, um, our top of our list is for video equipment and mm. editing software. That's a big part of what we do. Um, so if we had that equipment, I could, you know, we could train more volunteers to do that, and then we can travel more to get to the dogs to make the videos. So is there any specific piece. video equipment that you're looking for? Maybe somebody could donate that specifically? If they could donate, that would be amazing. Um, it doesn't have to be super fancy. We want you know, good quality because mm-hmm. we're, we're about good quality, and the audio is, is key, too, mm. so that, because um, we're, we're out in the field. Yeah. So taking that into consideration, um, we'll be outside in the weather, in the elements, with a dog, and so I'm moving, the dog is moving, so equipment that's going to be able to capture that video, and mm-hmm. you might need a steady cam or a gimbal, um, yeah. and then the audio, whether I'm mic'd, I've, we've done it both ways, where I'm mic'd, um, or your equipment, if it's like high enough quality, then you know it's on the directional equipment, yeah. or something like exactly. that. Exactly, yeah. and then the editing of that. All right. So, how can people help you right now? Like listeners that are on the phone, or listening to us on the radio, or watching this video. Uh, go to our website, click on donate. <laughs> <laughs> bing bing. That works. Yeah. Or, um, and I think I think we're going to chat about this in a second. Is our fundraiser auction gala that's oh, coming up? Oh, well, tell us about that. Yeah, it's called Bark at the Moon Gala. It is on March 14th at Embassy Suites in Bellevue. It starts at 5:30 with a silent auction, and then there's a three-course sit-down dinner uh, with presentations talking about NWCC, what what we do. Um, some success stories, a live, live auction, uh, dessert. You're auctioning dash. dogs off live. <laughs> not <laughs> quite, not quite that. But oh, we, okay. but our a um, couple of our partner rescues are bringing some adoptable dogs, so they're getting ready to oh, walk the catwalk. So they'll be there. And where is this at again? Embassy Suites in Bellevue. Okay, so and can, they can go to your website and find out. Yes, you can. Uh, right on the home page, there's our Bark at the Moon Gala. At looks like this uh-huh. and you can just buy tickets right there on our website mm. and sometimes you'll see some of our flyers around town you can scan the QR code 
Mm-hmm. So nwk9coalition.org. Yeah. March 14th, 530. Okay. I'm going. My husband and I are going. <laughs> okay. That's right. Eileen's going. And, That's right. Yeah, That's we great. have um, our friends from King 5 are going to be there, and also Heather from 106.9. She's emceeing the event for us. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fun. So those, that's, that's our big uh, fundraiser. So, so besides the big fundraiser and donating and sending you guys video equipment, how can the public also help? By volunteering. Aha. So we, we need volunteers, and we need to build up our board. Mm-hmm. So, what do you need specifically in volunteers? What type of volunteers? Well, I would love somebody who can handle the social media. Okay. Um, mm. So creating the post, creating, creating the content, mm-hmm. and uh, monitoring and liking and sharing too. Uh, that would that's huge it's a big part of um, our presence yeah um, and then also learning what the what the events are that are coming up in the community and signing us up for those because we have our booth we're ready to go um, so our event coordinator would be really huge right yeah now. if there are any students out there in the marketing uh, you know internship mm-hmm. time internship yeah. time it'd be great to come and and meet up with Kathleen and, mm-hmm. you know, get a great resume by helping a wonderful organization. Yeah, right? you know, a board member would look good on that resume. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. board member. Yeah. Bark member. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> member of the bark board. <laughs> member of the bark board. But we Honorary. have three of those already, Salvo, Abby, and Sasha. Yes, yes. Oh, there you go. It's all right. I bet I can bribe them. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> yeah. So what are your goals for the upcoming year? We would like to broaden our reach in the Northwest. So throughout Washington and then into Oregon, is that's our, our big goal. And then producing more videos of the dogs who can't make it into the studio. So, um, And then another way that people, the public can help us is volunteering to be a videographer and editing hmm. it too. So if we had that equipment and volunteers who can operate it. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yep. That they would be win, amazing. Win. So how, uh, one more time, how do our listeners reach you? Yes, you can go to our website, nwk9coalition.org. You can also email me. It's Kathleen at uh, nwk9coalition.org. Great. Thanks for coming on the show, Kathleen. Thank you so much for having me. That's great. Remember that all our segments of the show are available to watch on YouTube. Um, If you're interested in learning more about any of our guests, please subscribe. Join us after the break for some final thoughts and something fun to do.